Have you heard? The GMAT Online is getting a makeover. Starting April 8th, there are going to be some big changes to the GMAT Online that make the exam much better and much easier to take. And it's actually going to be nearly identical to the test center experience. First of all, at the beginning of the exam, we are actually going to be able to choose from the three test order options that we get in the testing center. Yay. Uh, second of all, we are going to get two eight minute breaks, just like we do in the test center, as opposed to the one five minute break that's on the GMAT online today. So that's a game changer for the exam. Right now, you don't get any break at all between the quant and verbal sections on the online exam, and it's pretty brutal to have to go straight through. So having an actual break between those sections, absolute game changer. And then finally, at the end of the exam, our scores are going to pop up on screen just like they do in the test center, which is admittedly kind of nerve wracking, but it's better to have the data right away so that you can make your plans. Now, we don't get something for nothing, so we do have a tiny little drawback to getting all of those great things, which is that starting April 8th, we are going to have to write the essay section of the exam, which is not currently on the GMAT online. But really, bring it on. I will happily write the essay if you're going to give me especially those two breaks now. Totally fine. Uh, so there's one big difference that's going to persist between the two exams, uh, the scratch paper situation. In the testing center, you're still going to have five sheets of paper. But then when you take the exam online, you're going to have your little dry erase whiteboard and then have access to an online whiteboard. So that doesn't change. Uh, if you're trying to figure out how to deal with the online whiteboard and the dry erase whiteboard and whatever, take a look at the next video that will load but that explains how to use that stuff. There are a few things that are not changing, but are just worth mentioning. So first of all, for the online exam, we're still going to get unlimited free score reports. For the test center exam, we get a certain number for free, but then we have to pay for more reports after that. It's still also going to be the case that for the online exam, we have a maximum of two tests lifetime and that we cannot order enhanced score reports. I hope that they're working on those things and that, that those policies will change eventually, but at this point anyway, those aren't slated to change on April 8th. Uh, and it's also the case that we'll continue to have two separate scoring records. So we'll have our test center scoring record and our online scoring record. And what that basically means is you can choose to send just your scores from your test center exams or just your scores from your online exams or both, whatever you prefer. Uh, and one more change that's a really good one. Uh, they're starting to make appointments available on a six month rolling basis. So basically on any given day, you can look, you can see appointments six months out and you can book appointments six months out. And that's fantastic just for peace of mind. You know you've got your test dates set and you know what you're working towards. So what to do? Right now it's mid-February. If you're ready to take the exam and you were already scheduled and planning to take it in the next couple of weeks, go ahead and take it. Don't delay just for these changes since we're still a couple of months out. If on the other hand, you weren't planning to take the exam anyway until like mid-March, that it's worth a two to three week delay in order to get the benefits that I was talking about, in particular, in order to get those two eight minute long breaks. That's really gonna do wonders for your mental energy as you're taking the exam. So if you're talking a short delay of a few weeks, delay. Take the new version of the exam. If you're ready to go now, don't wait two months. Go ahead and take it. If you don't like the experience and you want to retake it, then OK, do your retake on April 8th or later. And I think I hit everything. That's it. Good luck and happy studying.